Hello everyone and welcome to a new Legacy video. Today I'm playing the deck of the weekend, the Living Gand that doesn't play 3 mana cascade spell anymore but instead plays Bloodbraid Marauder. This is one of the many very strange cards from Modern Horizons 2 that didn't quite uh, see uh, success but it's now being revisited after of course Vine Thought Burst got banned. You can now play uh, Bloodbraid Marauder with Delirium and Cascade into Living End. Uh, how do you do Delirium? Well, you have, of course, Fetchlands, and then you have Architects of Will, which is an artifact creature. Glass Dusk Hulk, same thing. Cosmos Sky Turtle, it's also an enchantment. And then you have two spells that you can cast, Incubation Incongruity and Discovery Dispersal, which are both Sorcerer and Instant. Uh, thanks to them, you dig to find a Blood Marauder, and also thanks to the Will of the Forgotten, you also dig to find a Blood Marauder. You have yeah, grief to, uh, you know, discard and make sure that uh, the coast is clear and you win the game with Living End. Uh, because we don't play Shardless, you can actually play with Cursed Totem in this board, which is definitely something that unexplored uh, Cascade decks used to, you know, basically not play any uh, two mana cards. But this deck can, because again, Blood Marauder only cascades into zero or one drop. And yeah, that's the deck. Actually, let me let me cut this to snow covered land and add regular lands. An island and a swamp, perfect. All right, let's go and play. This deck paid at two different challenges this weekend. And actually, some other living end list also did well. Uh, they were all playing the Bloodbrain Marauder. None of them was with Ardent Plea. Whereas Rhinos is there with Ardent Plea. So, you know, you have that little... Uh, a difference between the two, I think. That Rhinos is good with Ardent Plea and Living End is good with Bloodbrain Marauder. Or, and by good, I mean just saw play this weekend, did well this weekend with. All right, I'm not gonna mulligan, this hand is functional. I'll keep it. By this deck is functional, I meant, I think I said, I meant to say this hand is functional. Anyway, blood uh, Bloodstained Mire. Let's hope to not see a Ragavan. That's always a problem to see. And by the way, this deck doesn't play any Force of Negation or Subtlety. There's less care about that. Wait, how do you answer a Teferi? It says Exotary Creature. Is Teferi just GG? Oh no no, what I forgot, thank you, return a permanent, okay. Okay, 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 Teferi isn't just GG. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm very glad that I put a stars on Thoughtsy since my hand, uh... <laughs> it's... Yeah, I mean, that to take the troll. Okay, so troll is a land, which my deck, which my hand definitely needs. I play Dothy Boyd Walker, it's okay, I'll leave with that. Yeah, I'll leave the troll on top, actually. I want to find land here. Okay, your opponent has Territory Kabu, which is also a um, threat. Actually, I can exile my graveyard. All right, let me cycle first. Ooh, that's the grief. Is there a survey land in my deck? Yes, there is. Do I care about the colors? No, I don't. I'll place yours. Uh, put this in the graveyard, this guarantees me delirium. Or, I guess it doesn't guarantee me delirium, but it helps me, for sure. Okay. Um, mm -mm. So, I don't think I want to discard Thoughtseize, because my hand is... Um, Pretty bad. I mean, what do you what do you what do you discard? I'm just taking Treble Flames. 
problems eventually will be like probably a third worth of attacks. So at the moment, I don't have Delirium. Actually, if they exile the Discovery Dispersal, I'm very far away from it. But I have an enchantment, I have an artifact. Was it worth the cycle screen right before Wraith to surveil? Maybe, yeah, maybe I should have done that. Does the deck play green sources? One edge maids. Not the best, but I guess you don't need green. I guess you need green only for the Skull Turtle to return a creature from the graveyard. Okay, so uh, they played this and attacked and exiled the Discovery Spurso. Well played. And then they thought this is me. But once again, my hand is super redundant, so I don't care about Thoughtseize. Congruity. Oh, the green side. True, true, true. Me? Uh, I think I just want to bounce the the, 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 the Kabu here with the Sky Turtle. I don't have not much to do, and oh, my opponent is also pretty clunky. It's kind of trading. My first league with the deck? Yeah. Do I have any more surveillance? Yes, I have Edge Maze. If I draw a fetch, I actually get Delirium. Try another of this. Hey. Yeah, I don't mind just passing and going Sky Turtle again. I really want to do Descend. Right? I have seven per. I have six permanents, soon to be seven. I think I'll pass. And once I do all the three modes, this is like very, very big deal. Now, well, every time you bounce this card is advantage, but I'm I'm working towards my Will of the Forgotten full kicker mode. So opponent found the land, although I'm pretty sure they don't have any white blue lands. White blue triumphs. So let's see if I draw a land here, it's really nice. I don't. Okay, I think I'm just cycling now. Again, I can't uh, cast this for all the modes. See if I draw a land. I do, perfect. I can do this with all the modes here. Pretty good, huh? You return, you discard a card, and uh, I look at the cards. So that's a very big, very big card advantage. Pretty good spell. Granted, they have definitely cards to discard. Land binding does nothing, but you know. Also, I get delirium now because a sorcerer goes in my graveyard. Is a card disadvantage if you're casting time walks? Yes, otherwise you would say that a bounce well is a time walk, but it's not the case. But that's fine, because again, it was working for the uh, card advantage for this, so. Okay, what's happening now, sorry? Uh, look at the top three cards, you'll put one of them in your hand, the rest in your graveyard, sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. This one can dig for my Blood Braid Barauder. Very good here, huh? I remember seeing a list that was not playing this, it was play Charlotte's Agent instead. I wouldn't even have the mana to play Charlotte's Agent. Okay, opponent gets the white mana and bins a Ragavan. Replays a Kavu. They may have Grieve. I'm playing against the Scamzoo. I made a video with that deck last week on my YouTube channel. The incubation says, pay a green, look at the top five of your library, you may reveal a creature, and the rest goes at the bottom. 
It's also sorcery. Oh, I don't even need to apply incubation. I just drew it. Yeah, sure. Let's do so. It's the fact that I made them discard a sign as Ocker, but I guess my board state will be pretty pretty big here. Otter cascades into Living End. Opponent plays not that after all on the Kavu. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does this do? I didn't know actually. Whenever another artifact that is above in your control, I guess what's not this one and can't be blocked. Okay. Let's double checking quickly. Uh I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter, but I guess. I'm taking this and pass. Incongruity says exile a creature that player makes a frog lizard. Actually, my opponent uh, Scam Zoob deck doesn't play Dothwood Walker. That is the most scary card that Scam can play against you. They don't give up. <laughs> A bounce and attack. I bounced just to make sure I was lethal. <laughs> I didn't do the math. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was lethal. <laughs> Okay, so Leyline stops against Grief and um, Totsies. Actually, let me see what does uh, Skamzu play in the sideboard. Let's see what the scams who play in the sideboard. More ego, that's bad. Leland of the Void. Okay. So I have to deal with Leland of the Void. How do I deal with Leland of the Void? Oh no. <laughs> I guess this deck is not well equipped to deal with Land of the Void. Well, I will have the Forgotten. Uh, okay, so I can't deal with Land of the Void. I don't think I care about Grief, but maybe I should. Maybe I should take out Grief. What does this do again? Servile to draw a card, your opponent returns an all land permanent. They control with the highest amount of value, then discard a card. I can do like two grief and then I discard like a random card. Three right. Three right, too good. I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll take out the grief. Let's go. Buongiorno, Viano. Yesterday, yesterday we missed you. Yesterday there was a lot of technical problem. In four hours, they played one league. No, two ley lines. Oh no. Alright, no force of vigor in this deck. Ragaman 2 and a Madonna che mano. Yeah, bene. I guess I'll lose. Mm -hmm. 
the Marauder can't even block Sedge. Okay, that's a that's a good that's a good one to lose. Uh, what what colors do I want? Be fine. Nice, another living gun bites the dust. Only one remaining. Not a care. Let's go, let's go on the race. 2 mana 3 1, followed by another 2 mana 3 1, followed by Architects of Will, followed by Street Rate, followed by Trollka's Undoom. That's my plan. Will it succeed? No, you kept an orc! Alright, I'll give up. <laughs> my plan does not succeed <laughs> against Orcish Bowmast. <laughs> Alright, uh. I mean, Grief used to be bad. I remember setting in a Grief and Force Negation against Gam. Obviously, this is not leaving Gam. I'm putting it using Scam, so it's hard to say. I'm gonna assume that the Land of Sanctity... Yeah, you know what? I just don't care about this curse spells with this deck. It's so redundant. Please, opponent, don't draw Ley Line. Play I guess I have the answer now. It's okay. No, I just one. Don't play more. Oh, two different ley line. Okay, and they kept set on a seven card end. Must be. All right, all right, go. That's fine. As long as they don't discard my whale, I'm good because I can bounce that triple triple cycle. No thoughtsies. Uh. Whoa, you grief pitch, the land of the guild pact. Opponents cardinals were burning. When I had to play them all. They have two cards left. I believe they should just discard them. You couldn't play it on turn one. Discard your hand. All right. Uh, Thunder and Falls. Graveyard. What's up? Ooh, Discovery Dispersal. I'm gonna get swamp. I don't think I need uh, uh the colors. Do I wanna nah I'm just gonna go with discovery before looting those uh, straight rates. I'll graveyard both of these and draw. Fortunately this doesn't dig for the whale uh to balance the ley line. Set. All right. Okay. We got a waker of waves. I'll get a land that can keep on digging for the whale of the forgotten. And pass. I wonder if this deck can play Force of Vigor, but I doubt. I think you only have uh, seven green cards. Double checking, but I believe that the only creature I have is uh, sorry, the only card I have that is relevant is Warping Will, the Will of the Forgotten. So I'll just uh, keep on digging here.
hopefully. Okay, where do the rest go? On the bottom in a random order, okay. Man, unfortunately, my opponent can just... Ah, it's fine, let's do this. Uh, what's called? Incubation. Yeah. So... Obviously, opponent can go Leila and replay Leila of the Void. I was gonna take Waker of Waves, but I definitely don't want to do this now. I definitely don't want to do this now. I think what I can do is um, like top land go take the attack. Next turn, I can go Whale. Hard to say exactly, but I don't feel like doing this now because this is instant a sorcery for delirium. Nah, it's wrong. I should have. I should play. I I should play. Yeah, I should play. I shouldn't have played the land, but yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, now I have sorcery. I guess where does this go? Does this go in the graveyard or in the exile? And I bounce the ley line. Unclear, but I'm just gonna F6. The graveyard, yeah, I, I was thinking the same. So I have artifact, sorcery, creature. So if the will, we'll see, we'll see. Morning, Florin. Four, what's this grief? Oh, another ley line. Oh, another ley line. And that's the last living. Oh no, that was the other game. I don't think I have a plan anymore. I mean, I can wake her waves into another one. And I start our casting my threats. I mean, you can see, I can't. Will I be alive in three turns? I got an eight, two, I got a four. I guess I can bounce. The Goblin Shaman. Yeah, if I suspend Lingo, I go to eight. Then Lingo goes to two. I go to four. Lingo goes to one. I, I can bounce. Okay, let's do this. I'll uh, suspend this now, and then uh, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So before, when they only had one Leyland Void, I think it, it was relevant plan to find this. Whereas game game two, when they revealed two Leyland Void in opening end, I was just. My plan was just ward cast. Oh, Ragavan. Okay. Ah, va bene, va bene, ho perso, ho perso, GG. Oh wow, they even have delirium. <laughs> they even have the No, you didn't cast Blood Raid? Come on! You should have! <laughs> yeah, face double Leland of the Void. Gain two and three. Yeah, but it is what it is. Buongiorno, chat. Buongiorno. Tonight I had an unexpected uh, wake up at like 4 a.m. Ran, thank you for the fourth month. Welcome, my friend. So I am a little bit shook, but you know. Hopefully, this deck can give me the energy I need. All right, my hand is functional. Which I don't say to every hand of magic. Yeah, we don't have the evoke disenchant. Okay. 
mean, if I'm lucky, I can uh, cascade on turn two. What is the perfect sequencing? Is it Blood Crypt Island? Yeah. Sorry, Island. Aspetta. Maybe. Steam Vent Swamp. It can also be Steam Vent Swamp. Yeah, let's go Steam Vent Swamp. Someone was running from the police and got arrested on your lawn today. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Okay, unfortunately, I didn't find straight rate. With straight rate, I could have cascaded on turn two. That would have been good. Not sure what do I cascade though, just a straight rate. Ah, it's fine. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have. Is Burn or Mill better positioned in the meta game? I'd say Mill. Hard Evidence. That's a card of magic, the gathering. E? Um, I'm gonna cycle because I draw into grief. Now I'll go land go. Because I want to go Troll of Kazan Doom to fill the graveyard. I guess I can just do it next turn. Yeah, I can probably cycle again now. I can still find um, grief. You don't like this shell for living end. Thank you for adding to the stream. Those comments are always precious. What would a streamer do without people that tells them they don't like what they see? What would I do? What would my day be without you? Okay, opponent plays uh, Vren and Tix. Um, Laura. I don't want to give them the shot to play Teferi, so let's just cycle this troll, get a basic swamp, play Bloodbraid Marauder, and I don't know, if opponent manages to deal with these three creatures, happy for you. Oh, three, four creatures. I also have this. This is my top card, which isn't bad. What about your top cards? Oh, porca paletta, I didn't expect that. Allora, guarda un po', facciamo così. Go. Thank you, Andres. Opponent plays Teferino. Unfortunately for them, they should have learned how to win the die roll. I, I haven't won yet, by the way. What are we playing against? A, a deck? <laughs> As I like to say, a deck of cards. It's definitely a deck of cards. It's like... It's like four color creativity, but without creativity, but with transmogrify. And uh, they may or may not be great. Allora, I want to play a land and pass the turn here. Yeah. The top of my deck is the three one cascade and then I have a land. Savor the moment. 
that Savort moment. Oh, uh, Cycle, because the top of my deck is a good card. Then I go um, Shuffle, because the second card is bad card. Survey, why not? Quicker Waves. I'm gonna get the Hedge Maze, because that's green mana. I think I need green mana for this deck. I really want to find Grief. Cycle, straight raid, looking for Grief. Grief, donde estas? Grief. Grief. E allora? Grief. Hmm. But it looks so good, this card. Let's cast it. Return target, null and permanent. Target opponent's got a card. Look at the top three. Boom. Boom. I want you in my room. You correct the clue. Uh-huh. You discard. Uh, look at the top three. I'll pick up a grief. Thank you. Thank you. Bitch and all. That's okay. I'll get this. And then I will uh, do this and incubation. Any griefers? No griefers. Man, where are the griefers? I <laughs> dug so much. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll get this. Alright, alright. I still have chances. I'll surveil. Grief? No. Uh, I'll leave this on top. And go. Why not play land first to surveil? I hope to have explained it to you by waiting. So that you look at the top three, that you dig more, and then you gloss. It's a little bit better, I think. Like, you dig you dig more this way. Because if you find grief already, you found it. But if it was at the bottom, I would have found it this way. Anyway, no violent thought burst, so the opponent is alive. Someone could say a lot. Oh! Okay, let's attack with both. Bam bam. All right, now what do I do with grief? Do I hard cast it? Do I cast it hard? Or do I light cast it? Yeah, right, let's hard cast it. I want to cast it in the hard way. A polymorph all the way from eighth edition. Actually, what was what was polymorph first printed? I wish I evoked it. I think it may have been something like in the very past, like Urza Saga, shit like that. Eighth? No, actually, they don't make cards in the first set in set base, unless it's alpha, I guess. Mirage, Mirage. The opponent, attention, five mana. Is that time warp? It is. Okay. You want to say tempest? I could see. I could see tempest. Yeah. I don't know why I hit it. We're briefcase. Oh no, my opponent can polymorph. I hope they don't have a good card to polymorph. What well, may be a card that is so good that wins this game to Polymorph? Let's see. Velomachus Lore Hold. Oh, poor Capaletta. Lose the game. Mango. Why did I tap out to play Grief? If I evoked it, I win so easily. I even had Colossal Sky Turtle to bounce. I'm so stupid. It's okay. My opponent uh, deck is fun. It's cool to showcase. F6 thing. Maybe that brick. Yeah, maybe that brick. <laughs> yeah, I had to right. No, I didn't have I didn't have green mana to what did I? I think I did, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I should have grief pitched and then I could return it with Sky Turtle or even Cascade again. I had like I had it all to not lose. 
I chose I chose the only line to lose, I think, with the grief. Yeah, 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 for sure. They bolt me. Unlucky opponent. Very unlucky. You definitely deserve the win. Uh, attack. This, this is first strike. Sorry, I meant to say lifelink. Anyway, we're back. I'm gonna have force of negation, dispute. That's it. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> Man, it's so hard to cyber with this deck. You can't cut anything. I guess I'm gonna cut the Glass Dusk Hulk. Probably not gonna be have any trouble in getting the Lyrium. Commandeer their Teferi should be fun. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's so hard to cyborg without Cyber Guide. How does one do without it? All right, good end. Yeah. Shy on zero. Oh, come on. Why, why, why does Ed, everybody have so much hate? Leyline, chalices. It's okay, I got force of negation. For grief, I have to do a survey land here. Oh no, yeah, because just roll it doesn't get me to leer him. It's nice that you can cascade before Teferi, but unfortunately with this hand I don't have any any ways to. Hope I can find a grief. Okay. That's a sorcery. That gives me the Lyrium already. Do I want to play Bloodbraid Marauder? Because I'm killing a token so that it can't polymorph. I think I will. It's not gonna be amazing, I know, but I do this before they can cast a fairy and I kill their token so that it can't polymorph onto it onto it. Of course it's like super tiny race, but I think it's okay. If I was on the draw, it would be maybe different because of the fairy. But okay, they didn't even have the fairy. You're to eleven. I think I, I think I'm jamming. I think I'm jamming another 3 1 in the mix. They may have like plus storms and stuff like that. I just want to attack here. Okay. I can polymorph into this. They find Velomachus. See what happens. Let's see if they find anything that's better than a lightning bolt. They do, they find time warp. Let's go. This is actually the Charlotte's agent to cascade into Will of the Forgotten. 
Yeah, we would have forgotten so good. The Namulet player, every time they announce a ban list, you're scared. How can I avoid getting nervous? You should try to just make peace with things that you can't control. I know it's not easy. But life is just much better if you just don't get nervous over things you can't control. You just if it happens, it happens. Like if opponent goes turn three, transmogrify, it's fine, you know, it is what it is. You just the life keeps like like life keeps on going even though your pet deck gets banned unjustfully sometimes. Okay, Zelesnia wins the game. Bravo, Zelesnia. E niente, my cyborg is what it is. Maybe I do want this because it's a blue card. But the thing is, everything else is blue already, so... I guess it's still good. I don't think I can cut much. Let's go. I don't have lands. I'm gonna say the classic sentence that every magic player says all the time. If this land, sorry, if this hand had lands, it would be good. Yes, my friend, of course, it's a seven, seven spell hand. If your seven spell hand is bad, your deck is probably bad. Anyway, keep. Um, mm -hmm. oh. Hello, I wanna go in congruity turn one. I think I'm taking down a land. Like what? Um, hedge maids. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, do I want to go in congruity turn one? Or I can just go survey land. And then... Yeah, maybe survey land. That's better. I think it's exactly the same to keep this in hand. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the gray here. It's exactly the same as leaving it on top, except you lose to life. Now, I think I want to go Waker of Waves, uh, hoping to find Grief with Swamp. Yeah. And then the next turn I can do this into this. Grifo. Close. Close, close, close. The other creature goes in the graveyard, which is very good. So that's a treasure, meaning that my opponent could use it to play like a Flask of Storm and such. But I don't think I can play around that. I think I should just I should just jam now. Yeah, I'm going to just jam. I'll get Island, I'll play Congruity, which is instant and sorcery, so it gets me Delirium and then I do the thing. I don't see on it because now, does my opponent know about... Uh, I can play this safer, and I can go Colossus Sky Turtle in my hand. And I can use this to bounce the token when they target it. And I can use this pew to counter Teferi. I still don't think I should, though. Otashi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. You're coming in a very important moment. I'm resolving Incubation Incongruity putting Delirium to play my Blubber Marauder. But I'm still thinking about this, because I could go... <sighs> what can go wrong? What can go very wrong? Uh, ch a top deck Chalice of the Void would be very wrong? Is there a word where they play Spell Pierce in that deck? Endurance? Hey, I mean, I can't do anything. No, they can't play Endurance, because they're playing Polymorph. 
They certainly don't have Endurance, but I can easily have Spell Pierce, which I can't beat. Okay, let's do it. I'll take Sky Turtle Pass. So I can bounce the citizen token in response to a polymorph, I can dispute a Teferi, and then I can untap and play this around spell peers. Polymorph costs 4, but they have a treasure in the core briefcase. I shouldn't, uh, I made a mistake, I shouldn't have cycled. I shouldn't have cycled, because now if I draw Grief, I don't have a black card. Where's this list from? The same player did uh, two, uh, two top eights in the challenges this weekend. Alright, let's go Bloodbraid Marauder. Let's see what happens. Living End is on the stack. When it knows, oh wow, it's not resolved. Oh. So I could have had this in play last turn, I guess without a troll. Yeah, in, in Prague I lost to this plus uh, Crashing Footfalls. Came up with the idea? I don't know. Uh, how do you say the ownership of this idea is always a muddy territory. Yesterday I was stormed uh, by a Brazilian, by some Brazilian people in one of my YouTube channel because I didn't give enough credits to the inventor of um, of my uh, legacy uh, deck. So I'm going to do it now. So to all the Brazilian that stormed in my comments, asking where I got this uh, deck list from, I got it from Diego Ganav. Diego Ganav, if you're listening to me, you are the inventor of that deck. Congratulations. I hope, I hope we made peace now. I hope you can uh, withdraw your Brazilian uh, delegation. Okay, with that handled, how do we do this? I can bounce one of these tokens and attack for lethal. That's a good idea. Let's do that. I'm just gonna actually gonna tap first. Do you have specific day when you stream popper? No, it's vibes. But it's planned to happen today, so I think you, you, you got the right day. Look, let's bounce a citizen and attack with all.
Do they have a card that interacts with me? Veil of Summer. I don't think this works. Does it work? It does. Oh no. Oh no! I may actually lose the game now. Oh no, never mind. They have to chomp with both. Oh no, I may lose the game now. Go to one. No, you can't. Illegal. Illegal maneuver. I'll pass. I need to keep up at least a single blue in case they go something plus polymorph. Oh, fetch land. Fetch, 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 fetch. Crack it, opponent. Crack it. Crack it, opponent. Crack it. Opponent. Oh. Opponent said, one life and I can't art cast a dragon. What does the dragon even do? Don't you, don't you need it to be five power? Maybe I'm wrong, eh? Okay, let's go. So yeah, it wasn't, even if they cast the dragon, it wasn't that bad. All right, we did win, but at what cost? Well, the cost was that game one I punted, but then thankful point and bricked. So, you know. Yeah, the oldest blood braid marauder. Oldest hit living again, unless you put one drops in your deck. I don't know. I mean, so far it's been good. I've played like two matches and <laughs> in the first match I've been Lila of the Void both game two and three. And in this one also I've been Teferi and Chalice. So it's not that the <laughs> the deck was definitely not hate-free. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go Grief Pitch Dispersal. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Grief Peach's Personal. I'm gonna put one, two, three, four permanents in the graveyard. Maybe five and six. No, sorry, maybe five and six with this. Seven with this. I just always wanna cast Whale of the Forgotten with all the modes. Honestly, doing casting this card with all the modes feels like the same as winning. Even if then you lose. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go Grief Pitch Discovery Dispersal. What am I playing against? Boo! What are you at? Says the opponent. Okay. Take the four damage one. And then I'm just gonna take it take it slow. I'm definitely gonna have a shock and stuff like that. Every two life that I save from a shock land is a play with fire. Mountain, play with fire, right off, right, boom, just two damage to you, Mangu. Okay, 18. As I said, I'm gonna take it slow. I'm gonna get a try, uh, Thundering Falls, followed by Under City Sewer, binning all the permanents for my world, world Forgotten thing. Actually, this one, this one isn't gonna stay on top. <laughs> Lucky Mangu. Let's cycle this. Let's get another of these on the city sewer. Perfect. Uh, I don't have Delirium yet, but I can get it with Colossus Sky Turtle or Whale of the Forgotten. 
I can leaving it on two. Yeah, but you can only put into play the straight rate. But yeah, you can. I mean, I guess, yeah. You have to go like incongruity, incongruity, straight rate, straight rate, fetch land, cascade. But you could. I did that earlier. <laughs> okay, now. So I could cast this just to get delirium. I think it's worth it. Nah, I'm probably gonna get delirium with this. Nah, I don't wanna I don't wanna risk it. Okay, let's just do this. I'll do look at the top three for one of my mirror. Yeah, this one. So I have delirium now. Maybe I could have discarded Sky Turtle. I guess the rest goes into my graveyard, so it's pretty good anyway. So I'm, yeah, it's the same thing. Pretty sure I can discard even without the target, right? What do you th what what do you say? Kiori, do you know the rule? Can I discard Sky Turtle without the target? Like it's not a spell. <sighs> Maybe I can't. No, you need a target. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go for the Blood Blade Marauder, F6. Cascade into the... Okay, they bolt me. Cascade into Grief and a bunch of other stuff. It have first Griefed him, but whatever. Okay. We'll make you draw the Monastery Swift Spear. Actually, am I lethal here without the spear? I love this ability. Did shot? No, I'm not. Okay, you can draw the Swiss spear then. Okay, I'll leave you with Searing Blaze because I know there's no land on top of your deck. Oh, Searing Blaze can kill the Marauder though. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Different is whenever you cycle. Thank you. Yeah. That makes sense. Welcome everyone. Shababa, thank you for the raid. Hey, this game is over. But what about the next one? Say, oh, actually, lethal here. Too lethal here. Sweet. I don't have to waste some time. Allora, playing against Burn. I have the Ley Line. I think the worst card of the deck is Stray Wraith. Maybe I can have one Force of Negation. Well, one more than one Force of Negation. Wow, actually, my deck has no 3 drop. Wild. Yeah, I'll have all the Force of Negation. For sure. Let's go. 20 to 0 in a single turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. My hand's good. I got lands and spells. Good morning, Giovanni. Am I tired? Yeah. Tonight I woke up at like 4 a.m. With a lot of various pain. That tells me that I turned 30 years old. And I stayed awake for like an hour. Talking to some friend, talking to my friend in New Zealand, <laughs> which happens to be awake because of time zone. I put a mulligan to very few cards. Is that three? Yeah. How's my finger, BTB? I am uh, dipping it in uh, water and salt right now. I got a finger infection, which is one of my various pain that I woke up to. So, yeah. Ah, Laura, what do I do? Bah, let's just start with a safe hedge maze. Perfect. 
Hello, Belumacus player. That bricked? Yeah, you bricked. That was uh, especially bad since I just played so poorly in game one that you really should have not bricked. But you did. Because in world, there's no justice. And everyone, anyone that tells you there is, doesn't have any proof. Opponent has no cards in hand. I don't think they will be victorious at the end of this game. Can I get... I can't get the Lyrum, right? Yeah, no, just play a land and pass. I want to ride the mana, so that's why I played this land. Sha la la la. Sha la la la. Sha la la. Two damage only. Don't play rest in peace. I guess I can't play rest in peace. They, they draw land. You should have scrapped first in case you draw like a goblin guide or a lava spike, but whatever. Uh, 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 okay, so first, I'll, uh, I guess I shouldn't have surveilled first. Well, it doesn't matter. Surveil. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, I still don't have delirium. But I guess I can go Sky Turtle and then have delirium. So, yeah. Or I can just hit delirium now with the sewers. Nope, that's okay. I'll get Delirium by discarding the Sky Turtle and then I'll uh, Cascade with Marauder and win the game. Buona Kella, va bene. I'll bounce one. And F6. I'll cycle. And then I'll play a Blood Braid Marauder. GG. GG. Actually, I'll take a break. I'll be right back for round number four with Living Gan featuring Blood Braid Marauder. Okay, opponent begins with a Bozaju and an Arbora Grazer. Uh, Living Gend used to be good against Amulet. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Why Misty and no Pollute Deltas? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, why Misty and no Pollute Delta, you're asking? You're asking the good question, my friend. You're asking a very good question. Yeah, you know what? Let's just... You're asking a question that nobody else, else asked. I even have the beautiful, beautiful polluted deltas. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, now we know. Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> All right, let's go. Well, this one can't get blood grip. Okay, Grief, Dryad, and the One Ring. I'll take the One Ring. And then I'll go Survey Land. Oh, Blood Crypt. Adios. This one can get Steam Bands. It must be like old mana base with uh, Generous End, and then the person probably didn't change Generous End. Sorry, cut the Generous End and didn't change the mana base. I'm going to assume. Okay, now. Next turn, I go discovery dispersal, and I already have delirium, so I'm just looking for the um...
I'm just looking for the cascade card. Okay, my opponent just plays a saga and passes the turn. I draw a Colossal Sky Turtle. Yeah, I'm just gonna go Steam Vents, Discovery Dispersal. You think I should replace the Blossom Myers with the Misties? Yeah, I could see that too. Alright, let's play Discovery. You should play this card in Standard. For sure, this one goes to the graveyard. What about this one? So this one digs a little bit deeper, but I feel like I should just graveyard it. We're playing a matchup of speed, and I don't want to waste uh, a turn doing that, I think. Like, by binning it, I draw... I see one less cards, but I see it a little bit faster, you know, if you, if you know what I mean. Okay. It goes with a one amulet. Well, not everybody plays Bajuka Bug main deck. The winner of the LMS Prague played Bajuka Bug main deck, but I would say that most lists don't play Bajuka Bug main deck. Okay. Okay, opponent uh, is just doing that thing. I draw a troll. Uh, I got nothing to do, I'll just play Edge Maze Pass. I was gonna throw a Kimbounce uh, Titan and buy me a turn. <sighs> when it goes to eight mana this turn, if they have a bounce land, which they do. Out for blood. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for the support. As we stare, our amulet titan player. With eight mana in their pool, Bozeju in end. They pay six, they play a primeval titan. We can bounce it. And then and then hope to top deck. I mean I can definitely win the game if I draw a cascade spell. Discard primeval titan. With grief. I need to draw the Cascade spell. I don't have many outs, but yeah. I think they missed up. Because they can't give haste twice. Oh, never mind. They have a land to play. Sorry, I can't give plus two plus O twice. That's what I meant. Bounce and F6. You always wonder what's the song. It's Astronomia. It's like a, to be like an old song. An old meme song with like the coffin. Uh, the coffin meme. 
it was like that. I, my stream started five years ago, so it's like a five-year-old meme. I don't know, I just don't change it. Okay, so I go to two, I'm not dead, and if I top the cascade spell, I would I would say that I can't even win the game. So let's see what happens. It doesn't happen. Uh yeah, I've no outs. No outs. Concede. Next card? Next card? Alright, now what do we do? We do a force of negation. And that's it. I cut the classic Glass Dusk Hulk. Do I also want Commandeer? Probably not. Land of Sanctity protects me from a bunch of things. Maybe I do want Land of Sanctity. Protect me from Endurance and from Bajuka Bog. He just remembered. Yeah. Okay. Keep. Yeah, but Valakut is not too big of a deal. Hmm, how should I, it's always weird to sequence with these uh, decks, I think I'm just gonna go with the Surveil Land. It's like, like, Surveilling a land into a land, like, Surveil Land been this, is like exactly the same as a cycle. And like, I get it, if I have to fetch, it's bad, but if I have it in my opening end, I think I'd rather, I'd rather open with it. All right, let's do this because I want to find a cascade spell. Grief. Do I grief now? Yeah, why not? Let's grief now. Uh, do I discard Explorer Dryad? Discard Dryad. I can go Steam Van Cycle this. The discard explore is not that bad, uh, but I think I'll pass. I think actually here I'd rather surveil with a land rather than cycling the Hulk. Due quattro sei. Next turn opponent can cast a uh, Titan. So I need to draw something. Okay. This one exile, this is exile target creature. Fortunately, I don't have green. I don't think I can't, I can't, I can't interact with what's going on here. Sad, but I can't. I just can't. I think I'm gonna go land whale. Look at the top. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right. Bouncing amulet. Bouncing amulet would have saved me. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so now I have five permanents in my graveyard. I'll go incubation and pass. I guess I lose. It's over. It's just over. When it gets amulet, they have two mana, plus four, six. They play this, give it haste, I lose. Two titan. Maybe I'm supposed to discard a titan and hope to find another one. Yeah. Could definitely play better, but I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should have just discarded the titan and hope to draw another grief. One grief titan, death two. Yeah, maybe maybe I should have discarded one Titan. Yeah, I think that was the difference. That that was the the the, the play I should have made. Okay. All right, new match. My hand is actually really good here. I think I'm gonna start with incubate uh, cycle three rate and then incubation. What am I playing next league? We'll see. I don't know yet. Yeah, I guess I like island here, yeah. Okay, I found grief. I think I'm happy with grief here. The daring gear, welcome. Ab delirium next turn. Man, it's so lucky. Go fetch land, blood bray marauder, bring back wraith and grief. Must be nice. Playing against uh, that deck. Okay, I'll take the cauldron and pass. And it goes young wolf. Oh, kill the goose. <laughs> it's much better for me. Wow, you're another grief. That's so lucky. Turn two? I reanimate two grief and a straight wraith. I hope opponent doesn't concede. Oh, actually, this was wrong, right? Yeah, because they get to reanimate something. Ah, it's fine. Um, what is a card I wanna have them keep in play? Orcish Bowmaster or Young Wolf? I guess Young Wolf is the weakest card. You think Wall? Maybe Wall. No, opponent conceded. I still want to take a screenshot to this. Classic Discord. Okay, so we have Cursed Totem, which we can't cascade into. We have... Man, this deck doesn't have any answers to... This deck doesn't have any answers to... I guess that's what Cauldron. I guess you can just overload it. You sure this is the best opening you can get with this deck? Yeah. Very likely. Do I want Leland of Sanctity? Because that one protects me against Endurance. I'm just going to Leland of Sanctity Hater, though. 
I just hate that card. Yeah, I'll cut some glass hull dust with glass dust hulk. Okay, I'll have some ley lines. Yeah, you can force the cauldron. Setting force of negation. Yeah, maybe. Okay, my hand's good. We can go grief, pitch, whale. Okay, drew a land, but I don't have blue mana. I'm still gonna go grief pitch whale here. There's the cauldron. And then what? I think I just go swamp go and I'll cycle the stroll and get a watery grave. I'll play Watery Grave and I'll play Curse Totem, which will stop the Halfling and the Wall of Roots. Wow, Scavenging Goose, that's not a card that gets stopped by the Totem. All the opponent just milled it with graced. Okay, they have three cards. Let's see if they play Zulaport. To attack me for one next turn. So I guess Zulaport, you know, if I leave in Gant, they deal me four damage. Okay, I'll go just stop playing go and then go Waker of Waves. Nah, I'll go Waker of Waves now, actually. Oh, great. When it keeps on milling and attacks me for four down to twelve. The Gris can do me 3 damage now, so, you know, I'm actually in danger of dying soon here. Troll. Okay. I'll cycle Troll. I'll get a Survey Land, play it. Okay. This is good. So I'll leave this on top, now I can go Sky Turtle on something, that's an enchantment, then I'll draw instant sorcery, and that card can find me uh, the Cascade spell to win the game. That's my plan. Well, it continues the 1-1 one, one beat down plan. I 
think I'm better off in taking this damage and bouncing the Zulaport end of turn. I think that's the better odds of winning the game, because I have to win the game next turn, otherwise I'm dead. So now I bounce the Zulaport end of turn, untap Incongruity, find a Cascade spell, win the game. <laughs> that's the plan. Let's go. Incubation. Let's go. Cascade spell. That's GG. Is that GG or not yet? Probably not yet. I can bounce Grist. I can bounce Grist. They attack me for 6, I go to a 1. Then I top the Cascade spell and I bounce Zulaport. And replay it. Yeah. Okay, we keep on living. Classic Cursed Totem, never won any game in its life. Cursed Totem is basically Le Leyline of the Void. I guess Leyline did win some games against me. Oh, in match one. Surgical. Okay. My opponent, attack with play Zula port. And I have to... Ooh, I lost the Lyrium. <gasps> they misclicked. They thought for so long that they misclick. Is my hand falling off? Nah, I just have some problems on my middle finger. A finger infection. Look, my opponent uh, uh yeah, he's here, so I guess I'm gonna do this because if I just yeah, I have to do this. Wow. Oh wow. Oh wow, I actually did it. I did it. My opponent didn't attack and play Zula port and let me do this. Okay. Oh wow, you have Court of Calling? So was the attack on purpose? I had to I had to exactly do this play to make my play work. Alright, whatever. Or for endurance, sure. <laughs> okay.
トゥトゥトゥトゥルトゥルトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥいや、still don't have delirium. My daddy is delirium. Yeah, let me cycle this so I get delirium. Okay. Yeah, let me go incubation. Let's find uh, architects of. Um, The cascade spell. I don't find it. Oh, should have taken the, 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 the other card. I shouldn't have taken the sky turtle. Now, my land can't fetch for、um, blue green survey land, which is definitely a mistake. And plays Yog and passes. I go on a survey land hoping to find、uh, Blood Blade Marauder. I do. Okay. Let's hope they don't have、uh, Endurance. Let's hope they don't have Endurance. Or surgical, because I have Living End in my graveyard. Okay, they sack this. Okay. This goes on the stack. Okay. It's not too big. Could have been bigger. And has Grist and Zulaport. I'll discard a Grist. Okay. Um.、Mm -mm. I think I'm happy that you draw Soulless Jailer. I wonder why they're here, where might. What's the reason?
I'm happy with the current state of modern post outburst. I mean, it's fine. I don't have any anything to say. It's okay. Could have been worse. So their hand is Twilight Mire, the top is Takenuma. Uh, 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 um, eh, so faccio, nada, just attack. And I guess I could bounce the Endurance and discard it. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, I think it's the best play I have available to me. I'll bounce endurance. Attack with all. Am I going to have something tasty for lunch? Ah, uh, not not really, because so in Italy, Easter and the day after Easter is like a really big, really big deal, and you eat a lot of food, which is gonna hurt you for a few days. So you know, this the days after those two holidays are gonna be. You're a coop. Yeah, a, f a few days of break for sure. I want to go grief on the endurance now. Just, just because it's a creature, not because, not because it's good or anything. I think I want to play Rhinos after this. I think I want to do another Cascade Day. I did it after the band outburst where I played Living End and Rhinos in the same day. I think I want to do it again. Okay, opponent goes Takenuma. That, that way they mill their uh, Gagatha Soul Cauldron. So very good. And then I can get back a card. They got back Yogmoth. Okay, sure. Let's attack with all once again. I always say that I hate those decks. Unfortunately, I don't know. I I mean, sure, like they aren't the best decks ever, but they are also. I think they're okay. Anyway, my opponent is on eleven still. Um, I think I want to cycle this. Maybe I just cast it next turn though. Oh, let's cycle this. Discovery Dispersal. I guess I can cast this. Nice. I was exactly thinking I may uh, find grief. So let's play it, and I found it. There's no cards in end, and I pass. Oh, that's true! Whale would have also worked. Just discard a card, I forgot about that option. Alright, yeah, should have done that. I guess it didn't matter. GG. Okay, we got a sweet 3-2. Uh, the mana base should definitely be reworked. I don't know if you want to play Bloodstained Mire or Misty Rainforest, but definitely play for Polluted Delta. Uh, don't remember what my other loss was outside of Living End. Sorry, um, outside of Leyland of the Void. But the deck felt good, and I think if you are a um, Living End player in the past, this is something you want to explore 
a bit more. Wheel of the Forgotten Wheel has been good, I think better than Shardless. Yeah, you can play Scalding Tarns as well. Scalding Tarns seems pretty good too, yeah. Yeah, definitely better than Mystery in Forest. I mean, it's a Grixis deck after all. Yeah, Scalding Tarns seems the best. He lost to Titan. Yeah, we lost to Titan, that's true. Against Titan, though, I played wrong. I think if I discard different, I go to game three. Against uh, Scam, I don't think there was much to do. Anyway, also the cyber could be changed. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was definitely something interesting. And uh, thank you for watching. If you watch on YouTube, remember to subscribe.